Hello, I'm Ben, Music Factory Composer, and today we're going over the World E Panda 25. The World E Panda 25 is a keyboard that I bought for about 100 US dollars. That is a really cheap price for a MIDI keyboard. I mean, that's really, really cheap. So you don't expect much. But you might notice that there's just some weird things going on here. Uh, for instance, the keys are just so incredibly crooked. I mean, if I if I kind of get this up here, you can really see, just, just look at how crooked those, they look like crooked teeth. And the gaps, the spacings are so uneven. Especially right there at middle C where there's sort of the break between the two octaves. Right there at middle C is a huge gap where everything is just really crooked. I'm overall pleased with what I received, given the price especially. is I mean, that's really cheap keyboard. But at the same time, there are other keyboards that are, like the Novation 25 key that I reviewed last time, which you can see that here. You'll notice that just for $50 more, the quality jumped significantly. So I'm not sure why that $50 is such a huge difference in quality, I noticed this switch right here is really delicate. It feels like this is the kind of thing that if I did this more than 15 times in a row, that it would just snap off and I would not be able to turn my device on or off anymore, which would be really unfortunate. What you can do, and this is what I've kind of done with this, is just leave it on because it's USB powered. So until you plug it in, it's not gonna even be powered at all. It's a good keyboard. I'm gonna recommend this keyboard if you're interested in buying it. There is a link in the description. It is by no means a bad keyboard, but it could be a better keyboard. Uh, for instance, these pads, they work. They work really well sometimes, actually. But one thing I noticed is that when I actually receive this, and I'll just do this just to show you, look how easily that just comes right out of there. I don't know if you could see that pulling up, but look at that. Look, look at how how far out. I feel like that could be a little bit better. The velocity curve on the pads isn't great. It's okay, it works. So here is what I wanted to talk about is the velocity curve on the pads. Notice how I barely touch it. It doesn't do anything. If I touch it just a little harder, that's not a very soft velocity. Listen to how soft I can get it with the keyboard. You can't even hardly hear that. But with the pad, that's as soft as it gets. Well, I got a little bit softer there. <laughs> but you really have to get lucky. I mean, that's... It's, it starts off at about 25, I want to say like 25 cc. Uh, and that's really high especially compared to some of the other drum pads I've used that are, you know, super touch sensitive. This one, it's also not very velocity sensitive. I have, to, like, if I, if I barely touch it, I'm still getting, like, 127 velocity on that curve. Another thing uh, is th these things. Um, you can't, or if you can, I haven't been able to find it, but you can't change the uh, spin ratio or how fast the uh, it goes from 0 to 127. And you'll notice that I have to spin it almost three times. I have to go 1 to 58, 2, and we're there. That's And that was a lot, like from all the way around spinning. The mod wheel is very 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 fast too fast actually but it just slides way too easy I don't feel like it's that buttery smoothness and then of course you get up there and you get that knock which I don't really like that either so strange there's so many things that could have been done better with this keyboard but at the same time for a hundred dollars it's a good keyboard I mean you're getting eight pads eight knobs which all work fine. The mod wheel, which works fine. 
the pitch bend, which works fine. You have all these different programmable options, which allows you to change, uh, say, split. You can split your octaves. You can change uh, memory banks, which I haven't even messed with that. You can change your octaves really easily by just clicking uh, shift, I think, no, shift off octave, and then you can just do plus minus, and you plus your minus your octave, and that's super easy to do. Uh, you can change your velocity curve of of your keys as well. That, I did notice by the way, that is a significant difference in the velocity curve, uh, but I didn't see the same in the pads. There's a lot of really cool programmable features on here that are pretty easy to understand. There's nothing too complicated about it. But there's also some software that comes with it, and unless you speak Chinese, you're going to have a really hard time getting through that software. Uh, but the software itself works pretty well once you do understand it. So overall, and this is going to be surprising for some people, but I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. I'm giving this an 8 out of 10 because of the budget price. It's really good for the price. I do feel like it could be better, so I knocked off a couple of points, but it works, and it works pretty well. So if you are looking for one of these and you want to get one, I would highly recommend that you check out the link in the description at Amazon. And you can get, pick yourself up one of these for about $100. Some people even sell them for a little bit less, so you might even be able to get a better deal. I think you can find them on eBay for even cheaper. Well, I'm Benjamin, Music Factory Composer. Click the I up there to join our Facebook page. Click right here to subscribe to our channel. And, of course, you can click here to watch our unboxing of the Novation 25 Key Mark II.